Let's talk about colors, which just happens to be one of the most important components of your overall web design. And thankfully with CSS Hero, choosing your colors has never been easier. So let's say for example, I wanted to change the color of the text for the menu items. I'll just click on one of them. In this case, I've clicked on the about link. And then over here to the left, I'm gonna go over to typography. Basically, if you ever needed to change anything involving text, whether it's the size, the style, the color, you would go to typography. And then right here, you would find the color section. I'm gonna click on this box right here. And now you can simply choose the color you wanna go with. And notice that as I'm dragging the circle, the color of my text is also changing. So if I wanted to go with something more, let's say reddish as an example, right? I can drag the circle all the way to the end and now I'll just simply choose the flavor of red I want to go with. That's how you would choose the colors of your text. You could do the exact same thing for any kind of text on your page. Let's say I wanted to change the colors of the title of my posts. So in this case, I've got Titanfall Review. I have Kangaroo Boxer Trailer. I do have uh, Legion Makes 900 Million. All these would belong to the same class because they are essentially titles of the blog post. So I can choose one of them. I'm gonna choose Titanfall Review. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing coming here right now. Click on the box. And let's go with something greenish as an example. So there you go. Let me just choose this flavor. Click OK. And of course, all the blog post titles are now in green because they belong to the same class. But it's not just about changing the colors of your text. You can also change the colors of your backgrounds. So let's say, for example, I wanted to change the background color of my menu items. I can simply click on a white space around the menu items and then go over to the background. This is where you would change the colors of your background. So I'm gonna go over to background and now in here, pretty much the same way, click inside and then choose the particular color I want to go with. Let's say I wanted to change the color of the home page, but then the section covering the blog post titles and then the sidebar, I can click in here, just somewhere around the white space right there. And then over here, do the exact same thing again, come in here right now, and then simply now choose the background color I want to go with. I told you choosing your colors has never been easier with CSS Hero. And if you wanted to change the color or reset the color value, all you would need to do is you simply come in here and where you have these three buttons, you simply hover right there and then down here, you will now have the reset button. You can click in there and that will take your color back to the default. That's how you can reset colors that you have chosen. There's a few more things I wanna show you before I round this up. So right here, when you're trying to choose your color, by default, you actually have access to three different color schemes. RGBA will be the one chosen for you by default, but if you click on the arrow right here, you can switch over to the HSLA color scheme. And of course, you'll also have access to the good old hexadecimal value. So you can always switch in here and choose your color scheme. Right here, underneath, you have access to the color palettes. You can click on the arrow right there and you can choose from a set of palettes. So for example, you could go with flat and right now you'll have access to a whole range of new colors to choose from. Let me just stick with the hexadecimal value and let's go with this particular shade of red. I do like red by the way. And uh, there you go. All right, I wanna show you something really, really cool. Right here where you have the at symbol, you can actually create something known as a variable. Now, why would you want to create a variable? Say, for example, I like this shade of, of red, the CE1D1D, and let's say I wanted to apply this particular color to another element on my website. Rather than me having to remember the code, which is CE1D1D, I can just assign a name to this particular value and just use that name over and over again. So, watch this, okay? I'm gonna click on the add symbol right now, and right here, I can give this a name and guess what? I'm gonna call this Rose, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna give this color the name of Rose. I'm gonna save the color and right now, I can use Rose over and over again. So as an example, let's scroll down here and let's say I wanted to give the navigation numbers right here, the color of Rose. I'm gonna click in there 
and right here, I'm just gonna click on the at symbol, and right there, Rose is waiting for me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click on Rose, and there you go. So now number one has the Rose color. I don't have to remember C E one D one D. I can just remember the name Rose and apply that color over and over again. Now you also have access to your variables over here on the project and down here you will see project variables and right there you can see all the variables you've created. However, one very cool thing though is that right here to the right, you can create a palette from the color you've chosen. So right here I can click on create palette and right there I'm going to have access to a whole range of different color palettes for the particular color I have created. So let's see some examples. We've got quadri, shades, text tones. Okay, these all look pretty good. But now if I go back over here and I clicked on the add symbol once again to access rows, right here you can now see I can choose from the different palettes that have been chosen. So I can come in here right now on the tones and choose this particular variant and make the red color even darker than what it was initially. And that's just pretty awesome. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to select colors using CSS Hero. Go forth now and choose your colors.